to see these little innocent lives who have already lived through some pretty terrifying stuff. That's heartbreaking. I'm so sorry that you're here, but thank God you're here. Having this little tricycle here, they're just symbols of childhood everywhere, yeah. and it speaks to how many children are here. How many do you have? Here in the shelter today, we have over 100 children. Safe Horizon runs eight domestic violence shelters in New York. This one, Rose House, is the largest. Kelly, this is one of the most important rooms at the shelter because of the number of children who end up here. Those people, when they think about domestic violence, think about the adult survivor, but forget over half of our beds are filled actually by their children. Safe for I can have a 20 free seat. How may I help you? News 4 got an exclusive look at the city's new crime victim assistance program. Here's the promise. Two advocates in every precinct reaching out to every single victim in the days, weeks, and months after their crime. The NYPD calls the program unprecedented. Help the victims rebuild their lives. Help them feel safer, decrease the likelihood that they'll be re-victimized. Uh, the NCOs have this additional resource in each and every precinct. will go a long way to building trust in this city. Save Horizon. I've been working with them for so long and they have helped me immensely. My scars are my beauty marks, you know, they're just there. That's what I want people to see, that, you know, I don't have to feel ashamed for something that I didn't ask for. Safe Horizon, which provides shelters for families that are going through domestically violent situations. It allows them a safe harbor that's anonymous, that there's, nowhere, there's no way to know where the shelter is. So a domestically violent perpetrator can't track down the family. And it really allows a place for healing to begin for these families. One in four women will be a victim of domestic violence in their lifetime. And that's why I have the pleasure of announcing that I've teamed up with Safe Horizon. You guys know about it. We've been talking about it. They are the largest organization helping victims of domestic violence. And now I'm in their official PSA. Here's your first look. That's not true. <laughs> Our entire team downstairs in the control room, they painted their ring finger. Thank you, guys. I so appreciate it. Of October is Domestic Violence Awareness mm -hmm. Month. And so I did this because to show that I support Safe Horizon, which is the nation's largest organization supporting people yes. who have suffered domestic yes. violence. Um, and it's part of their hashtag put the nail in it campaign. So if oh, you want to do that, you can search. Thank you for asking. Oh, I appreciate well, thank that. Thank you for doing that. I I partner with Safe Horizon, put the nail in it yes. campaign. Yes, and I love that. So that way, you know, people ask, like, why is your fingernail painted purple? Wait, like, well, tell me about this. So what is it? It's it's the Safe Horizon Put the Nail in It campaign. And you paint your purple fingernail, your ring finger purple. And so someone's like, hey, Gleb, why is your fingernail painted? And it's about to raise awareness for domestic violence. Uh, Safe Horizons, mm -hmm. you are, it's a great organization. Yeah, yep, we release the PSA tomorrow. Paint your ring finger on your left hand purple. It's called the Put the Nail in It campaign to do more to end domestic violence. So if you're available and you got a left hand and oh, a ring finger, I, I want to see it. it and tweet it out to me. My left ring fingernail is painted purple because I am partnering with Safe Horizon to end domestic abuse and the silence surrounding it. It's a really important organization for me because I am a survivor of domestic abuse. Let's talk about it and stop it. We are in all five boroughs offering supportive services such as counseling, case management, legal services. We run eight confidential domestic violence shelters, and we also run the city's 24-hour domestic violence hotlines. So we ask you to paint your ring finger, donate to Safe Horizon, and use the hashtag put the nail in it on social media to raise awareness. And in just letting them know that I was just attacked on the street by my ex-husband, and just hearing a comforting voice at the end was so important to me because so many times I would call it for other people and I was calling for myself mm -hmm. and Safe Horizon was out there to help me 